loves, thanks for returning. I hope this video finds you happy and doing well. As you know by the thumbnail, this video is going to be on powder exfoliants. So if you're interested, then just keep watching. All right, so I'm gonna take a quick moment to talk to you all about exfoliants, talk to you all about powder exfoliants. What are they? Do we need them? Will they be too aggressive or too harsh on our skin? Plus, I'm gonna show you two that I've been using that I like and I wanna share with share them with you because you might like them too. So first things first, what is an exfoliant? An exfoliant is something that is going to resurface the skin, it's going to even out your skin tone and texture, it's going to fade hyperpigmentation, it's going to encourage cell turnover, it's just gonna do all that good stuff, right? So it's definitely something that we want to add in our skincare routine. So next up is powder exfoliants. What's the big deal about a powder? And is it good for sensitive skin? Yes. Is it good for mature skin? Yes. So one of the things that I like about a powder exfoliant is that it is customizable. So you add water and of course the more water you add, the more milkier or uh, more loose uh, or soupy it will become. Kind of think of it as, uh, think of cake batter. So the less water you add, no boy, or should I say cornbread? or cake batter. So you, the more water you add, the superior it gets. So that is the consistency you can think of when you're thinking of powder expo exfoliants, specifically the two that I'm gonna talk to you all about. Another good thing about powder exfoliants or powder products is that they're going to have little to no preservatives. And that's always good because a lot of times we don't want the preservatives in it because that's an extra chemical that will help the integrity of a product. It will keep it from going bad. One that comes immediately to mind is parabens. I'm sure everybody at this point has heard of parabens. And so I wanted to quickly mention that preservatives are not needed because water is not added to the powdered product. So for the folks that are sensitive to preservatives, it would be a really good idea to um, entertain the idea of using a powder product in your skincare routine. And the last thing is that you'll find that a lot of powder products will have naturally derived ingredients. They're going to be more gentle. They're not going to have that grit and little small beads that you may find in some other products. And of course, those are very harsh on the skin. Uh, they can irritate the skin, cause redness, allergic reaction. I mean, the list goes on and on. So you're definitely not going to find that. One thing that I would recommend when using a powder exfoliant, if you're new to it, definitely do a patch test. And that just simply means testing a little bit of it behind your ear and see, you know, the next day how you react to it. Also, if you have any other chemical exfoliants, uh, that you're using in your routine, let's say in a serum or a moisturizer or the oil, you know, nowadays they add them in everything. You may want to limit, you know, the amount of it if you're if you are a newbie. But if you <laughs> if you're old school and you're used to it, then I, that wouldn't matter. One of the products that I'm going to talk about, you can use it daily. The other product, you can only use it like three to four times a week. But like I said. If you're used to using those products on your skin, you probably won't have an adverse reaction. So overall, powder exfoliants are great for sensitive skin. They're great for mature skin. You'll find that they will probably be more gentle. And you know, one thing that I really like about powders is that there's not this mad rush to use it up because all of our skincare products that are not powders, there is a shelf life. And one once those products expire, they're probably not going to work as good, um, if at all. So you can have your product a little bit longer. And I find that they go a long way. One of the products that I have is a higher end product. However, they do have a smaller size that you can purchase at Sephora. And the other one is extremely affordable. 
And that one would be, I'm just gonna segue right into it. That one would be the Good Molecules Pineapple Exfoliating Powder. I've been using this for years. It works awesome on mature skin. Also, this one is cruelty free. It's got clean ingredients and the packaging is sustainable. This packaging is made of glass, which I can really appreciate. So if that's something you know important to you, definitely look into it. And it's made with, without the PEG, fragrance, silicone, mineral oil, alcohol, none of that. You will find none of that trash in here. So this is a good one if you not only want a good product, but you're looking for something clean and sustainable. I like this one again because it turns into a milky paste with the more water that you add to it. Now this is not a cleanser. This is an exfoliator. So just remember that it has so many extracts that are going to resurface the skin, retexture the skin, fade hyperpigmentation. This one is a white gritty texture and I have to admit when I first opened this up years ago to use it, I was like, I don't know, I don't know about this, but as soon as you add water, it immediately turns into, it almost feels like a thick pudding, almost a really thick pudding. You know, of course, with the more water that you add, the thinner it, it feels, but it feels really good and I've been enjoying it. I think that this is something that you definitely can benefit from if you have sensitive skin, mature skin. And the last one, if you're on a budget, this is a really good one to try. So the next one is uh, by Dermalogica and this is the Daily Mifoliant. This one is going to be good for folks who have a problem with redness, dullness, who have an issue with uneven skin tone and texture. This one also has coconut milk and oat brand extract. It's just got a lot of goodness. So this one is cruelty free, vegan, it's gluten free, it's made without fragrance or paraben. So you'll find that both of these are pretty much the same outside of uh, the good molecules is actually in a glass bottle. Now I really like this one as well because it does have that, um, again, you can kind of think of cake batter and the more water you add, the more silkier or smoother or thinner that it becomes. And once you use it, you don't have a stripping type of feel. This one you can use daily. And this is another one where you wanna use it after you cleanse your face because this is not a cleanse. So overall, these are two really great powder exfoliants to have. Powder exfoliants are good for sensitive skin and really good for mature skin. So that pretty much concludes the video. Let me know down in the comments, have you ever tried a powder a skincare product, a powder exfoliant? If so, let me know down in the comments how well you liked it or how well you did not. I'd love to hear about it. Thank you so much for tuning in and until my next video, smooches.